so today's video is going to be on my go-to makeup routine not only for spring break but usually school because I don't have time to do a full face of makeup and kind of just like my lazy days when I don't want to wear a lot of makeup but I want to look put together and fresh and nice and presentable so yeah here are my tips and tricks and what I do currently now I, that I don't wear a lot of makeup so yeah I hope you enjoy the video please give it a big thumbs up and let's just get started well, the first tip I have is to have well moisturized skin. So I kind of like um, moisturize my skin a lot before I do this kind of like routine to make my skin look really fresh and um, glowy and just like pure, like an angel. So yeah, that's what I do. After I wash my face in the shower, I usually like to moisturize my face with two different moisturizers. So the first moisturizer I use is the Pons Rejuvenous Anti-Wrinkle Cream. Again, just like all over my face and on my neck as well. Don't forget your neck. Um, but yeah, I use this um, all over my face and my skin actually absorbs this quite fast. Like right when I put it on, my skin just absorbs it really fast and just sets. So I usually do that first, you know, avoid any wrinkles in the future um, so I really like this one it's a pretty generic brand it's pretty affordable um, not too expensive and I like it so far so the next moisturizer I use is a pretty decent okay it's a pretty decent moisturizer as well and it's organic and it's natural and it's really easy to find in most grocery stores and that is coconut oil. I've been using coconut oil for such a long time now. It's organic so it's really good for your skin and it does not clog your pores. It kind of just helps your skin um, in a natural way I guess. So this one my skin doesn't absorb it um, that fast compared to the other moisturizer that I use but um, that's why I like to put this after I put that one on this one kind of leaves my skin oily like it will leave anyone's skin kind of oily like with a sheen on it but your skin will absorb it and then the excess will kind of like give your skin like a glowy and pure and plump look to your face so it'll make you look more fresh and healthy which is what I like so yeah I use coconut oil and the brand that I really like is the one from Trader Joe's it's the cold press and unrefined coconut oil so that is what I use to moisturize my skin and prep my skin for the makeup so now for the makeup obviously I don't have any makeup on because I waited to do my makeup for this video so I only use a couple of products and those products I I use to like kind of accentuate my main features that I like on my face to um, make me look put together so whatever features that you have that you like and you want to accentuate then those features are the ones you should I guess um, put makeup on so that you can like enhance the things I like to do to accentuate my features and to make myself look put together kind of like the products that I can't leave the house with are doing my eyebrows or taming them and my mascara because I have no eyelashes my eyelashes are really short and they're not they're like invisible without mascara so I like to tame my brows and put some mascara on the first thing I like to do is tame my brows with the NYC transparent mascara I use this as like kind of like a clear brow gel. This doesn't look clear because I've been using this for so long and my brow products mix in, but it's good enough for me. So I like to do, I do a couple coats actually, so I do one before my mascara and then after so it kind of like dries and stuff. I have a mirror right there, so tame. And since it's clear and I have nothing else on my face, I don't really care if it's messier. Do you think if I like go like that or anything? Just tame the brow hairs. So that's step one. I like to do mascara because my eyelashes are non-existent. So um, I like to curl my lashes, obviously, to make them curly. And then I apply mascara though. Mascara I like using the most. I've been using this for years, not the same bottle, but like the brand and type. But it's the Maybelline Rocket Volume Mascara. I swear by this mascara, I love this so much. Some people don't like it, but um, I like the one because it like separates my lashes and I don't like clumpy mascara. I hate clumpy mascara on me. Okay, so that's my mascara. And I usually don't put it on my under lashes um, because it smudges throughout the day and it makes me look really tired because it's like black. Um, just to kind of make my lashes a little bit longer and fuller um, in a natural way. 
You know what I mean? After that first coat of mascara, it's the only coat of mascara, but I do a second coat of eyebrow gel. Um, then to top it all off, I like to moisturize my lips. I like to go with my natural lip color, so I just put lip on. But that's... But that is it. It's kind of, it's really simple. It only takes like five minutes to do this makeup. Like it's so quick. It's good, you know, if you're running late and you just want to look put together, you don't want to put a lot of stuff on your face. You look fresh and clean and pure like an angel. And I don't know, it's just really flattering on me. I mean, you don't have to do the same thing, but I like it and it's what I do when I don't have time or I just don't want to spend a lot um, putting makeup on. And I like to let my skin breathe so that I don't need, you know, breakouts or anything like that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you like it. And also, I do have my 1,000 subscriber giveaway going on right now. It ends April 30th, so make sure you go join that. Um, I'm pretty sure all you gotta be is subscribed to my channel, so just subscribe and you'll be automatically entered. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Love you guys. Bye.